Welcome back guys, and today we're going to do an unboxing and uh, review of the latest combination WSI Rogers Lowboy and the Tonkin Replicas Caterpillar CT680. So this was just announced last week uh, through DHS Diecast that they had received this configuration, which has never been before offered. So basically there's the truck in Caterpillar Yellow and the Rogers Lowboy trailer as well in Caterpillar Yellow. And if we look on the back, we can see that this is the uh, Caterpillar CT680 6x4 Cat Yellow and Rogers Lowboy 3 axle. So this is more of your kind of heavy haulage truck um, and that kind of deal. So, without wasting too much time, let's get this thing open and out of the box and take a look at it. Like I said, during the time of this review, um, you can pick these up at DHS Diecast. None of the other retailers have these yet. So here's our tractor, gooseneck, trailer, your plank extensions for your bed, and a wide load study. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at the tractor. Again, it's just your standard former Tonkin replicas, um, CT680. Doors don't open. Not a whole lot of detail. It does have a movable fifth wheel. Um, so depending on what trailer you're hauling, you can adjust for that. There you have some mud flaps, lights, and some chrome fenders over the wheels. There is a decent range of steering. And if you lock it into place, it will trace somewhat. You have plastic lighting up here, or I'm sorry, plastic mirrors up here with silvered surfaces, as are the two main mirrors. Your air horns up top. And the signature Caterpillar grill, which you have to be really, really careful, as I've said in any of the other thousands of reviews I've done on this particular model, because that Caterpillar logo on the grill is a sticker, and it tends to come off really, really easily. So here's your gooseneck mechanism, the front of your Rogers Little Boy trailer. Good amount of detail on this. Um, see if we can zoom in a little bit better and take a look at it. But uh, yeah, you got your Rogers Low Boy logo up here. Along with some safety graphics, which are actually quite legible considering the scale and how small this is. And uh, some other levels, or, uh, logos as well. This is the three holes you see here is where your uh, lines would plug in from the trailer. And uh, to attach it to the trailer, all you got to do is use this little plastic piece right here and stick it into the hole on the trailer as such. Whoops. Make sure it doesn't come flying back out of you because it is spring-loaded, obviously. So once you push it in, make sure it's a good solid fit. And there's your trailer. So these are all your wood extensions. Um... If you have an oversized load, such as an excavator, you can extend these and put your um, simulated wood grain finish to extend your board. Wheels are rubber. They roll quite well. On the rear, you can see the Rogers Low Boy logo on the mud flaps, as well as some nice lighting here. There's a little bit of detail between the three axles on the rear 
as you can see, a bunch of different lines, but they are kind of disguised in black, so it's hard to see, especially on camera, but they are there. With the only negative point of this model being these two screws right here, which are um, quite legible and really detract from the model a bit. Right here, these two logos, which are also, or these two holes, which are also hard to see, is where your wide load sign would go. So let's attach the trailer to the truck, see how the two look together. And there you go. So it's a nice set, especially for um, the price. And if you have some diehard points that you need to use up from other shopping excursions, it becomes an even better price. But overall, it's a nice truck. Um, definitely not the caliber of your typical Sword Peter Belts or Kenworth or any of that. Uh, but the trailer definitely makes up for, uh, for that, for sure. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.